Hey guys, I decided I'm going to do a uh, update video on the Xterra. Um, I've done a lot to it since the last update video. Um, so, yeah. Um, to start off, um, I painted the bumpers about a week ago um, to give it an all blacked out look. Um, I did the front bumpers and I did these fender flare, or not fender flares, but these fender like trim pieces. I did all that, the trim pieces on the door, door handles, um, the bumper, and the rear bumper. Um, I don't know if the stickers were on there last video, but I had some stickers. Club Xterra. Um, I also did the wind fairing on the front. I painted that black as well. Um, I redid this emblem. It needs to be redone again, but I redid that with a matte black instead of like the shiny black. <clears throat> on my Hellas, um, I added a washer on each of them. Um, as you can see, the plastic cracked right around on this one. Um, right there. And so this headlight was like flopping back and forth um, whenever I shifted gears. So I would just went ahead and put it on the other one too. Um, there's a washer on both the front or on the top and the bottom. And then there's a rubber washer in between there to keep them a little bit more sturdy. Um, let's see, what else? I took off the little piece that was on the bottom right, uh, right there. There was like a piece of uh, metal. It like goes down and it uh, covers up that bar. Um, it was sagging and I just didn't like the look of it sagging down. It made my exterior look like lower to the ground. Um, let's see. I guess we can go to the back. Um, before I had um, Alpine E10 subwoofers, and so, um, I just switched these out not too long ago. Um, they're Audiobon, uh, like, A, B, P, yeah, A, B, P, 15s, um, two of them, they're 1,000 watts each, um, that little plastic piece that you see in there, that's from that light right here, um, that's like a neon light, and when I first hooked them up, I, uh, hooked that light straight into the terminal, there's a, 12 volts for the light right here and I hooked it straight into the terminal right there and basically pushed a, pushed a thousand watts to a light and it blew up the fuse and yeah I just haven't taken the plexiglass off to um to get those plastic pieces out and to fix the fuse um up top I've got a Lobo rack this is pretty popular on the Xterra forum um basically all it is it's just one of the shelving units I painted it black it still needs more paint but I mean it's probably fine for this, um, but up here I've got uh, basically cargo net, uh, some paracord. Um, this just has all my tools in it. It's just a bag. Um, I've got an emergency kit for like um, injuries, jumper cables. Um, I've got this like green thing. It's like um, you can like bend it to certain ways. Um, and then I've got my Eno up there. Um, and then my slap straps for my Eno should be up here, but um, right now they're up in my room because I was hanging my Eno in my room before. Um, so I guess we can go into the inside now. Not really much has changed on the inside. Uh, I, let's see, what else? Visor, that's not really important. Um... I finally got a garage door opener. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Um, nothing really happened on the inside. I'm going to be, soon I'm going to be replacing all this fabric on these door panels on the rear as well. These, that fabric right there too. Um, and then also the center console. I'm going to try to wrap it in like a, uh, like a lumberjack. Uh, flannel kind of um, to give it like a I don't know just different look um, I'm gonna be painting this like a tan I c actually I don't even know what I'm gonna do like with um, painting it but I'm also gonna cover this in the uh, flannel as well um, maybe even make a new shift boot 
Um, near future, I'm going to be cutting the shifter down to about right here. Um, so this knob will be right where the bottom of this thing is. So it'll just be a little bit lower. This thing is really massive for um, what it really needs to be. It doesn't really need to be that big. So um, anything else? Anything else? I added a bike rack. My It's like a homemade bike rack um, up here. It's basically just a fork mount. Um, I stick my, I take the front wheel off my mountain bike, stick the fork onto it, show it to you guys again, and just screw it in with those wing nuts and washers. I can make a uh, tutorial if you guys need that. And then the back tire just sits on the rear crossbar, um, and it doesn't really move that much. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, if you guys want to see anything or any tutorials on how I did... Um, some of my stuff, just let me know. I'll do another pan of it. There you go. Um, so yeah, write in the comments if you guys want anything, any tutorials on anything. Um, or, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, so rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah.